we really need to recognize what is fundamental about ourselves, what is always on, what is reliable, and what is completely constant. And in the Balanced View training we'd call that open intelligence. And open intelligence is you and everything about you. Any intelligence that you can identify right now, what's looking through your eyes, what's hearing these words, what knows you're sitting in this chair, what experiences everything, what sees, what feels, what hears, what smells, what thinks, that is open intelligence. And to keep it really simple, we can say that anything that we experience, all of the content if you like, we can just call data. So rather than having lots of complicated conceptual frameworks around our own experience, we don't even need to divide it into thoughts, emotions and sensations. It's all just data. So there's open intelligence shining forth data in a seamless flow. There's no way we can actually separate out any experience or any datum or any moment from this seamless expanse of just complete openness. And what's really important is to identify this intelligence for ourselves in our own experience because the Balanced View training is about you and your experience. The instinctive recognition of the nature of reality. So to identify open intelligence, just stop thinking for a moment. Allow everything to be exactly as it is. And when you stop thinking, what remains? There's an openness, an alertness, a cognizance, the capacity to know. That is open intelligence. And it's vital that we identify this for ourselves. So you can stop thinking again. And there it is, this intelligence, this openness. Always on, always accessible, it never goes anywhere. No one can give it to you and no one can take it away. So in the Balanced View training there's a very simple instruction, a simple, simple practice of short moments of relaxing mind and body and recognizing this open intelligence amidst the flow of data. And what happens there is that we begin to see that data and open intelligence are inseparable. So there's no way we can experience open intelligence other than within the flow of all data. We wouldn't know or experience anything without open intelligence. And the only place we're able to recognize this natural presence of open intelligence is in our everyday experience of life, in this flow of data. So inseparable like the color blue and the sky. We can't take one out from the other. Data are the shine, the beneficial shine of open intelligence. And what happens when we come to the Balanced View training and we begin to relax and to allow ourselves to be exactly as we are is that we begin to see everything about ourselves as it really is. There's no more, there's no more fooling ourselves anymore. And what for me was fascinating was to really have this ever-increasing insight into the nature of reality in a very specific way how it related to me and my life, my relationships, my actions, my behavior, my speech, and to see the way that I'd believed all of these things about me, all of these labels and descriptions and definitions that I'd learned throughout my life, how I'd really believed them to be true, to be true descriptions about who I was. And what happened is I allowed all of these descriptions just to be exactly as they are, whilst recognizing them as this shine of open intelligence, is that the aligning of this completely wide open reality happens effortlessly and naturally. And aligning yourself with this reality of just complete perfect openness, perceptual openness, in all circumstances, allows for keener and keener insight into the nature of all of the data into the nature of how all of these descriptions and labels have limited and oppressed me, 
by me believing in them, believing that somehow they had this independent nature. They were somehow out there and were, were, were able to get me somehow, or were able to affect me. And the more I recognize myself and everything about me as open intelligence, as nothing but pure benefit, then less and less am I fooled by any of these learned descriptions. Because they were all learned. I wasn't born with any ideas about anything. All of these ideas I have about myself, all of these descriptions and labels and concepts, they were all learned. So in the same way that we learn to define ourselves using these concepts and labels, we can learn to recognize that actually who we are is this vast expanse of open intelligence that includes all of these labels, but is not limited by any of them. And from that perspective, we're actually able then to see more and more clearly what these labels are and how they've affected ourselves, how they've affected our relationships, how they've affected our lives. And then, once we see how they have affected us, we can take appropriate action. Because we're no longer bound by these learned descriptions. We recognize that we are completely spontaneous open intelligence. We always have been and always will be. We just continue to recognize it in short moments repeated many times until we're certain that this is the case. So the courage in standing up and recognizing this internalized oppression and the relief in doing so is immense. And I see for myself, even though in many ways I could describe myself as coming from a very privileged background. You know, I'm, I'm white, I, I grew up in England, I didn't come from a, a, a poor, poor family, um, I had a good education, um, I've had reasonably good physical health throughout my life. All, all of these seemingly very privileged life circumstances. And yet at the same time, I lived under a, a regime of complete internalized oppression. So my everyday experience of life was one of constant criticism about myself. So I can see there that it didn't actually have anything to do with my life circumstances. I had all of these things that, well, you know, why can't I be happy then? Why do I still wake up depressed? Why do I still wake up feeling like a failure? Why do I still feel unable to, to be relaxed and easygoing in social situations? I, I didn't seem to be able to control my experience, even though somehow I felt that I should. And so to relax and to allow myself to be exactly as I am, this relief of not needing to try and hold everything in place, to uphold this image and this identity, but just to allow myself to relax and to be exactly as I am, was the immediate relief and benefit of open intelligence and its recognition. And the relief of seeing that I didn't need to effort to try and um, pretend or, or behave in any particular way. I can relax and be exactly who I am. And in that is the expression of immediate and powerful benefit. And I recognize that first for myself. All of that tension of trying to be somebody, trying to be all of these labels that I've told I had to be. I need to be happy, I need to be successful, I need to be popular, I need to be attractive. You know, all, all of these different things and working really hard at that. And instead just to allow myself to be just com completely wide open. At the beginning that seems so challenging. Like risky, dangerous even. You know, can, can, can I do that? Is that allowed? You know, what, what will happen? And that's where the, the beauty of the practice of short moments comes in. Because you can test out what it's like to do that for a short moment. Just an instant of relaxing. And again, you can try that right now. Just relax and allow yourself to be exactly as you are. Allow your, your mind to think as it will. Your, your, your feelings to feel as they will. Your body to sense as it will. Just relax completely and see what happens. Test it out. And by testing it out for short moments and repeating this, what I began to discover was that actually 
there was something about me that was constant, that was stable. The data were always changing, up one minute, down the next. Feeling like a, a, a genius one moment and feeling like an idiot the next. Feeling socially confident one minute and feeling like I wanted to run away and hide from the whole world the next. So the description's always changing. But the open intelligence by which they're all known, within which and as which they all appear, was completely stable. And so utilizing short moments and utilizing the rest of the support structure of balanced view, I began to see that actually open intelligence <coughs> is what I can rely on, not the descriptions. And by relying on it short moment by short moment, I began to see that actually this is what I was always looking for. This sense of ease, this sense of openness, this ability to relate to other people without the need for expectations or uh, uh, being a victim to any of my descriptions about how I thought I should be or how I thought they should be. Approaching each moment just in this same ease of perceptual openness. And it was that simple. And in terms of past events, what I began to see there was that, again, through the recognition of all of my data around past events and taking responsibility for recognizing that too as open intelligence, I could actually take actions to harmonize all relationships in very, very practical ways. So this isn't some vague recognition. In the Balanced View training, you will get to see everything about yourself. Everything. Which for me was a little bit... Uh, we could say interesting, but it was an incredible and continues to be an incredible exploration of what it means to be human, to, to really get to know myself. Not as other people have told me I am, but as I really am. Really seeing everything about myself as this brilliant shine of pure benefit, but only in the direct encounter with it supported by the Four Mainstays, the practice of short moments, the trainer, the written trainings, and the community of worldwide practitioners. For me, that support was just so essential. Because on my own, it, it, it seemed it was too much, it was too scary, it was too intense, it was... All, all of these descriptions about balanced view would have taken me down, if you like. And the very simple choice we have in each moment is to focus in on the descriptions, on the data, on the labels, and there is immediate tension. Social situations are brilliant for that. Oh God, I feel a, I don't feel comfortable here. And as soon as you focus in on that description of not feeling comfortable, then you really don't feel comfortable. What's interesting right there is to relax and recognize that description too. I don't feel comfortable here as open intelligence, and then it expands out and it opens. And that feeling of not feeling comfortable actually becomes a, 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 de a deep and easy way of connecting with almost everyone else there that is feeling uncomfortable, which is most people. If they're not feeling uncomfortable, then they're pretending or they've managed to hide it with a drink or a smoke or a bit of bravado or whatever it is. And, and so it's really getting real, seeing this sensitivity, this openness, this, this genuine way of being and relating that we all have access to. This is, this is what I'd really wanted all throughout my life. And in the Balanced View training, I found the, the how-to. How, how can I do that? And every step of the way, I'm supported and empowered to do that, to see I have that choice. Which is way more than I ever imagined was possible.